There's something special about the mornings. The dawn's are early light. The cool air and quiet breeze. The mist is almost mystical. The sounds of each new day broken only by a distant horn. The steady cadence of a horse-drawn caisson. The rolling hills are a sanctuary, standing in stark contrast, a bridge apart from a world capital that never sleeps. I mean, this is America, and it, it doesn't come without a cost. And if you can impart that to your children, there is a price for living the way we want to live. Just look around and you get a, a sense of what that price is all about. You can walk and walk and walk and there's one headstone after another, different name, different state, different place. And you, you can leave there with a the feeling that there are a lot of young men and women who are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice uh, in service to their country. I'm proud of the fact that he's buried here, you know, and I'm, I'm proud of the fact that he served. And um, I'm, my grandmother always, always tells me that, you know, your granddad would be proud. It started as a humble family farm. Later, it was purchased by the adopted son of George Washington, a man named John Park Custis who, upon his death, passed the estate down to his son, who in turn called it Arlington. Little did they know that these rolling hills overlooking the new nation's capital would one day become the home of a young army lieutenant from Virginia named Robert E. Lee. Little did they know that this very land would become center stage of a civil war that would nearly destroy the very nation that Washington had fought to build. Little did they know that this ground would one day become a national treasure.